Greetings and welcome to my channel. Today's video I'm going to review the EOTech. I think this is the 558 clone made by Holy Warrior. This is a review slash buyer's guide and some other information that you don't normally get whenever you see the BooTubers reviewing EOTech clones. They normally give you useless information. I'm gonna give you some information hopefully that's useful. And I'm wearing gloves because I'm working on some of my electronics and I didn't want to get the stuff over it, even though it's a little dry, but that's why I don't have my nails showing so but you can still roast my nails in the comments below. And with that being said we're gonna get into the video. So First things first with the EOTech. The Holy Warrior looks identical to the real EOTechs. It's not really any distinguishing differences looking at it. All of the things and the cues that even what um, EOTech advise you to spot um, the real ones versus the counterfeit ones most of those don't apply to the holy warrior as you can see it looks pretty much like the genuine one and i'll show you another one versus like the holy warrior the difference so so we have this one this is actually the same model but you can see the the um there's a visual difference all right so if you can see the bottom they're different the holy warrior actually has this hole here which is supposed to be a purge valve I think that's what you call it. That's what I think that's what EOTech calls it. They have a valve here where they put the um, nitrogen gas in. And the um, I'm gonna put this guy back up here. The Holy Warriors are purged with nitrogen gas, and they're supposed to be submersible to five feet. This is the forty dollar one, and the forty dollar one has good parallax. Let's see, I'll cut this guy on. I'll have to get up to the camera to show you. Hopefully, I can do this the way you can see. But see, if I were to move, see, yeah, wait, I'm trying to. It's not the parallax, that's just me moving it so it's messed up. So if you look in dead center and you move, see the dot isn't moving. Even though the site itself moves, but the dot doesn't move. So I'll show you the difference between that one and one that has poor parallax. I think this one's parallax. I might have fixed this one. Let's see what it looks like here. So I believe this one here may have poor parallax. But I modified this one so it may not. Okay, yeah. So. See how that. move it even though the parallax on this one isn't that bad because I did a lot of adjustment on it but you can see when you go backwards and forth with it why is my fan making that noise and 
And then I believe on this other one, I believe the parallax is really poor on this one. Let's see if I can show it to you. And sometimes based on the angle, you really can't get a good look at, yeah, this one's really, let's see here. And see, it's really not, it's, it's not really the same because of what's going on and with the parallax is I'm actually moving it. It's really supposed to simulate when you move your head. So let's see if I can make it a little better here. Uh, stupid. There we go. So I'll just move the camera. So that's the parallax there. You see, when I move the camera, it moves. It doesn't stay in the center. So that shows you that parallax is bad. Let's see if I can do the other one. Let's do the Holy Warrior again. So see, whenever you move the Holy Warrior camera's moving but a red dot is really it's centering in like let me focus on something so you can really see it so here's the EOTech clone all right let's focus there let's find a focal point there so you can see when you move it so as you can see it's staying in the same spot it's not moving that shows you the difference with the parallax. So this one doesn't have poor parallax like a lot of the EOTech clones do. The other thing it doesn't have is, let me show, I'll cut it off. It doesn't have this thing is saying law enforcement only. The newer ones don't have that one. So it reflects on this one. Also, it takes one CR123 just like the genuine EOTech. And the battery is correct. So this is correct. The real EOTechs don't have the spring on this side is inside here. So as you can see, it comes all the way up like the genuine one does. It has a water seal. Like I said, this thing is sealed for five feet. And so this one is a lot harder to spot if you didn't know what you were looking at. And another thing about this particular one too, the Holy Warrior isn't dim. It's not dim like how the other ones are. Even in bright sunlight, you can still see these. They're not like really dim and a bright lit day, which is normally the main limitations of the EOTech clones. 
they're so dim when you're trying to look at them on a bright sunny day and as you can see it has that reticle that's kind of like the real ones where you can kind of see through it they did a, a pretty good job of replicating it now here's the most important thing though this does have a night vision function so if you look in here you see that that is the infrared emitter and you can't see anything because my camera has the infrared filter so infrared doesn't show up on my camera but that is the emitter in there you can see now here's the interesting thing about these if I'm not mistaken let me know the more higher and in EOTEX clones made by Holy Warrior they have this emitter here and they've, they've just emit the light just bounces off of the emitter they don't have it where that it actually shines in like let me take it off infrared so on the cheaper ones like this one is the $40 one you see the red light but on the actual more expensive one you see how that red light is on that on that infrared emitter you can see it shining there a little bit that's all you would see and that infrared emitter down there at the bottom is what actually illuminates it if I'm wrong how it works let me know leave a comment below but from my understanding that's how the more expensive ones work which makes them hard to spot because one of the ways you can tell that it's a real EOTech versus a, a clone is when you cut it on there's no emitter there's no light shining so the more expensive EOTech clones made by Holy Warrior that's how they replicated it where that you can look at it and look through but you can actually see that there's a light you can see the um you can see the crosshairs on it but you don't see any light emitting from it so this buyer beware i wouldn't buy any of these eotex from ebay or amazon i can almost guarantee you anytime you buy them from ebay or amazon they're fake yes somebody may be trying to sell one who has a genuine one and you may come across the occasional genuine but i doubt it for the most part they're all going to be fake so just bear that in mind and save your money if you're looking to buy one of these cheaply go somewhere like bass pro you can normally find these for 400 bucks now here's the thing i don't know this for certain but i'm thinking the reason why I they make two more expensive units above this is probably because these are restricted and importation this is what EOTech says they said they don't import them until like China so that's not my information that comes from EOTech so if that's wrong go bug EOTech don't bug me about it but I'm thinking that's the reason why they make the $400 version and the $800 version because it doesn't make any sense because you can buy a real one for 400 here at Bass Pro in the US and you definitely can buy a real one for 800 so I don't understand why they would have an $800 and a $400 unit unless they're just meant where you can buy them in a country where you can't purchase them legitimately that's your only choice but these do hold zero they do pretty well they're pretty well built so just be careful if you're buying any of these as long as you know what you're getting and you're getting a clone you're all right just don't spend you know two or three hundred dollars for one thinking you're buying a real one and you're not so I'm just letting you know and unlike the other ones this one is pretty accurate so hopefully that helps you if you're looking and you want to buy one of these, you can pick this one up from the Holy Warrior store. And the other thing you can do is probably look on eBay for them, but I'll be careful because you might get a counterfeit Holy Warrior. But um, 
that's all I want to say pretty much and please like my video subscribe to my channel I'm trying to improve my content let me know what you think of this video and I'll see you next time